Hey guys, it's Chloe and I'm here with HollywoodLife.com's Editor-in-Chief, Bonnie Fuller. Hi! And we want to talk to you guys today about Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, Chris Humphreys, this never-ending love triangle. So Bonnie, what is the latest on Kim and Chris's divorce? Well, first of all, Kim is escaping the divorce right now by partying with Kanye. They're having a very romantic vacation. He is performing in London next week, and so they've taken the chance to have kind of a midnight in Paris romantic vacation. We learned exclusively at Hollywood Life that Kanye is so crazy about Kim that she just looked at a couple of, of dresses and items in the window of a store, and he arranged to buy two of every one for her, and he dropped 50K. Lucky girl. Lucky girl. Now, I also heard that she was tweeting some romantic photos as well, so this is just like a an amazing vacation for her right yeah, now. Yeah, and what we've, what we've also learned at Hollywood Life is that Kanye is absolutely crazy about her. He doesn't care about her sex tape. He thinks, you know, good for her to carry on and to have used it to now, have become a celebrity. Do you think that he's going to propose to her? What are you hearing about that? Well, we've heard that he's never thought about marriage before, but he is actually thinking about it with Kim. But now, he and he really wants to start making memories, their own memories. He wants to get through this divorce. He's going to be rock solid by her side. And he thinks that Chris Humphreys is like just lame for dragging this and dragging Kim and dragging the whole thing into divorce court. Meanwhile, there's a lot of allegations out there yeah. about what may come up in the divorce trial. And the deposition starts this week. Now, in the deposition, who, who, who's being deposed first? We know that Chris Humphreys is being deposed this week. We know that Kim is going to be deposed. We've also heard that uh, some of Kim's associates, possibly Jonathan Sheban, who's on the show, will be deposed. I think a lot of people are going to be deposed. Now, tell me a little bit about uh, these allegations. There was a shocking report today uh, in Star that claimed that Chris wants to kind of blow the lid on this secret double life that Kim has. What are some of the things that they say? Well, they say, they, yeah, they want to expose everything. They want, she's, I mean, like, has anger problems, um, that she cheated on Chris. Well, that's what they're claiming, that he's going to try and prove that she cheated. Uh, I think he thinks that she might have been with Kanye while she was still you know, engaged to him, possibly when she was married to him. Um, uh, they, according to this report, they are going. There will be allegations that she threw things at him. I mean, we saw some of that in the show. Yes, if you guys remember on uh, the season before, um, was it when they were married or was yes, it no, when they, they were married. married? When they were married and they were living in the Gensport Park, and she got so mad because he stepped on her toe and messed up her pedicure. Remember, she punched him. That's right. Everyone talked about that punch. Dr. Drew Pensky. It was all right, over every, right. every single national news network. So you're happy though that they're in Paris, and you think this is good for Kim? Oh, of course, it's good for Kim. I mean. And she's, she, she's having a romance with a guy who's absolutely nuts about her and who is saying, and we're hearing that he says that he's going to be rock solid by her side throughout the trial and he just wants to get it behind him. Now, just on the last note, new information on the Chris Brown, Rihanna, Carucci, Another love, love triangle or quadrangle if you want to include Drake. Right. So this is what we've learned, that Carucci knows that Rihanna is number one, is the number one love for Chris Brown, That's and that she sad. accepts that. That's kind of sad. Don't that you think? she is happy to have the relationship she has with Chris. She's enjoying it. She's enjoying being with him. She likes him. They're having fun, but she understands that she is not the one. How does that make you feel as a mother and a wife? What do you? What would your advice be for Carucci? I. Listen, I couldn't do it. I could not have that kind of relationship. Right. So I just hope she is not allowing herself to fall in love with Chris. And there's a report out there that Chris Brown actually snuck into the Gansport Park. It seems like everybody stays at this hotel. It's a great one. And that he snuck in there to see Rihanna just last week. Right, for like a late night rendezvous. There is that report, but we already have heard from sources that they've been seeing each other and that they both have deep feelings, that they so both Rihanna love each other. So Rihanna is not seeing Drake. At all. Well, I think she may have seen him, but we've also heard through our sources that she is not seriously involved with him at all. And then what do you know about the charges between Drake and Chris Brown? Do you think Drake is going to be charged? We don't know that, but we are hearing from sources that Chris is not interested in charging him. Right. That he wants to, again, put this behind him, move on with his life, 
focus on more positive things. All right, guys. Well, that's the latest on Chris Brown and that whole quadrangle, and then <laughs> the Kardashians and their love triangle. So for all the latest news, gossip, style, beauty, and more, keep coming back to HollywoodLife.com.